And Ron, we're back with another question from a member. Ron, how do those who are euthanized affect the death cycle and transition? Um, it's an interesting question, but there is an assumption that your the way you die has something to do with your trans your cycle and transition. I think it has more to do cycle and transition has more to do after you pass away. <clears throat> I had a friend who <clears throat> from high school that was out hiking and uh, he was by himself and uh, apparently he slipped and fell in a, a very bad situation and, and passed away. Couldn't find him and have not found him. And uh, I came and asked him, uh, I asked him, Steve, are you still there? He says, yes. And uh, so he's, I, I asked him, why, why are you staying around? He says, well, I, I need to do what I can to, to get my body into the right hands. <clears throat> so he was still very much organized as far as the third dimension is concerned in his mind. Now, when we die, and I, I'm going to say this because I believe it's true. I haven't really got confirmation on it yet, but <clears throat> when you pass away, you're going to be offered to, there's a tunnel of light. At the end of that light, end of the tunnel, excuse me, is the cycle of the, the karmic cycle or wheel, birth and death. Few people understand that death was created by the cabal for the third dimension experience. It's not normal. It's not normal at all. We are not designed to, this perfect body is supposed to last forever. But in third dimension, they created the death cycle. And then they show us a, a, a light, a tunnel of light and say, that's where you're supposed to go. And that's where you continue your association with the karmic cycle of death and rebirth. Now, what if you were to, instead of following that tunnel of light, you just do a 180 degree turn. And you see the universe, you see the stars that are welcome you to be who you are. And so as I think this through and I, I haven't inquired about it because I haven't thought it through well enough to be able to have an intelligent conversation about it. But I believe that turning 180 degrees and going in a different direction than the karmic cycle of death and, and birth is where I want to go. Now, doing that, what's going to happen to me? <clears throat> I'll still go back to my life review with those that uh, are guardians and are in charge of my life. It can be family, but I don't know for sure that it's family. Uh, it may be that we have a grandfather or something many generations past that's kind of working towards helping all of the gen all of his generations to see the light. Maybe that's where who will give us our life review. But the life review is designed to to show you what you did and the, the people that hurt you and the people that you hurt and um, and you'll feel the pains. And it's, it's not a judgment, it's just you go through that and, and you'll come out the other side and say, well, I've learned a lot this last incarnation, so uh, I don't know that I want to go back because I have turned my light on the, the tunnel. I can, I can make my decisions on my own. I am the creator of the experiences of my life. I don't have to yield to the cabal. 
Now, these are this is a brand new way of thinking, and uh, I'm I feel comfortable introducing it <clears throat> because it has some far-reaching implications to it that we don't have to continue to go through the birth and rebirth. If you're a cabal member, your family, when they pass away, they go to the bottom part of the fourth dimension. And that's where all those guys hang out. And then you're reincarnated in the same family or similar families of the cabal. And that's why the children pick up the, the where the parents left off and have done so for thousands of years. They, they're reincarnated and they bring with that all of their knowledge and, and uh, cell knowledge of what they were before. And so when they're treated terribly and uh, traumatized, putting them in, in uh, coffins and stuff like that, and then they have you do sexual stuff with your same mate or same uh, male, female. And you feel guilty about all of that sort of stuff. And it just, it, it, it molds you into their way of thinking. And we don't have to do that, see. If you don't go that direction, we don't have to go there. But their children go to the fourth dimension, and that's where they re and then reincarnate in their families. And that's why it's so easy for the bad guys to, to continue what's been going on for thousands and thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of years. <clears throat> we can change that. We can change that. And so uh, I don't know that we're going to pass away. Uh, we'll see. There will be concepts that will happen to us similar to what the med beds are saying they're going to do, but I think it'll be a natural experience uh, from the light, and uh, it'll change the way we live and the change we are, and then change who we are, not who we are, but <clears throat> our perception of what we are. So... Um, there's a lot for us to understand, and uh, but death, the way we die, has no bearing on the cycle and the transition. It has to do with what you do after your passing. So I hope I didn't step on anybody's toes with that, but that is really how I feel. Well, Ron, you're speaking from your heart and uh, your knowledge is so appreciated. So we will be back with another question in a minute. 